All right, it's shaping up to be a busy week for Carl Icahn. Earlier this week, he helped engineer the sale of Motorola Mobility to Google. Well, tomorrow, he'll try to shake up the board of Forest Labs. Bloomberg Shannon Pettypiece is here with more. And Shannon, um, you know, we know what he's trying to achieve here, right? right. I the, mean, the, why the, now, I suppose, is, a, is the better question at the moment. Well, I think he sees the stocks down, and he thinks he can make a move. He wants four of Forest Labs' ten board seats. He wants to shake up management. He says that, you know, they're too entrenched, too, you know, uh, they've been on the board too long, and he wants to get that share price going. Now, they've outperformed the S&P this year, but if you look back since 2007, down 30%. So the stock has had some rough times here. Um, now, obviously, you know, this is not Icon's first rodeo here. We've seen him do this right. before. Take a look at his track record, though. Uh, earlier this year, as you probably remember, he pushed Genzyme into doing this $20 billion deal for Sanofi. That was a 48% premium over where the shares were. 2008, he got Imclone to sell itself to Eli Lilly for $6.5 billion. Uh, you know, according to the numbers we crunched uh, at Bloomberg, that would have been an $800 million profit for him. And back in 2007, Metamune, he forced them to sell themselves to AstraZeneca for $15 billion. That was a 21% premium. So, you know, Forest Labs could be the next one on the chopping block so here. So he certainly has a wind at his back, so to speak, right? 63% yes. premium for Motorola Mobility. Yeah. So in keeping uh, with his strong track, record. What does that mean in terms of the board shakeup? Uh, is he likely to get shareholder confidence? And what does he mechanically have to do in order to actually shake up the board? Well, there's some question about whether he's not going to be, whether he's going to be able to do this. Because so far, uh, the stock has done all right this year. And, you know, the proxy advisor, ISS, the big one, they're supporting Forrest's slate of directors. They say that Icon hasn't done, had enough compelling evidence to convince, you know, shareholders that we need change on the board. So see that coming from him. Uh, it, so it could be a tough fought battle. Um, but if he is successful, look for a potential sale or big management shakeups and big uh, share buybacks, investing that cash back into the stock to try and get that share price up. All right. Interesting stuff. Thanks so much, Shannon. Taking a close look at Carl Icahn's potential next move.